does a lot for the team. Um, at least you can get long. Uh, you think about West, uh, you know, your four days in Vancouver, but... Hello everyone, and welcome back to some more streaming. I am here, back in March 9th, re-watching the Habs versus the Canucks. The Habs are actually finally doing good for once, so that's awesome. And, uh, so, to start off our stream, we'll do a little preview of the game. For the team stats, the Montreal Canadiens are 13.4% on the power play, making them 31st in the league in terms of power plays. Um, uh, 29 point, 20.9% for power play for the Canucks. Pell to kill. The Habs are in 74.1%. Canucks are 70.2%. Face-off percentage, Montreal is at 47.9%. Canucks are 51.0%. And then goals for for games played, Montreal is at 32nd place, 2.41%. And Canucks are 2.83%. And goals against per game play, 3.79%. Where Canucks are at 2.84%. Last five games... Points leader is Nick Zuki and JT Miller, both with 10 points. Nick Zuki and JT Miller with 4 goals each. Nick Zuki and JT Miller with 6 assists each. And then for plus minus is Brooke Hulak and Myers for freaking Myers. For, um, um, with 4. Plus 4. Goaltender, I'm assuming, maybe Jake Allen? I don't know. Maybe they want to play him. Maybe he'll be back up. I'm assuming it's Montalbo that'll be in that. Uh, for Vancouver Demko. I might be correct on that. Maybe, maybe not. Anyways, I got a notification that my food's here. So I'll be right back. Again, I am gone. Alrighty, I am back for good. They're still... Have they even started yet? 
Alright, I'll just put it on. Already. Freaking Munch Shroud almost got injured. Already, thank you to the friend that bought me this. A and W. Shout out to them. Oh, my broke ass can't afford it. Benchrot playing just under 23 and a half minutes per game. That's a career high for Ben Sherrod. So whoever picks him up at the deadline, should that happen, they're getting a guy who eats up. All right. On that side. So it's a bit of a later puck drop, as you could tell tonight in Vancouver. So put the yeah. coffee on, folks. It's going to be a late one on the East Coast. Damn, the game haven't even started yet. It's 1043. God damn. Yeah, something must have happened. Whoa, 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 whoa. We ain't sponsored here. Here at TelJ Studios, we ain't sponsored. Alrighty. Person didn't even get me a straw. What? Excuse me, I didn't even get me the straws. Okay, I guess I'm drinking the the drinks like just straight out of the cup. Whatever. Let me just fix my camera up here just so I'll zoom in a bit. I feel like there's too much headspace here. Already, that's good enough. Oh, I still have the trepo in the background. That's how DoorDash drivers want you to drink your drinks, like apparently. I tipped the. Uh, the person that gave me this even tipped the guy. Oh god, I'm already dropping on my jersey. Alrighty, let's try to do this cleanly here. I'm opening the bag up. You know, like, be wearing it as like an apron. Apron. I don't know how it's called. Pronounce that. Okay, I'm not gonna crack myself. playoff team 16 losses 917 save percentage but this is the time of year when we find out our goalies built for the you know 60 65 starts down the stretch are you a believer that Demko is the type of goalie that can handle that kind of a workload I think he can handle it but we may have to talk about 67 68 69 games because mm. tonight is his 46 appearance in the season is 13th straight appearance uh, for the Canucks and now you're looking they got 24 games after tonight mm -mm -mm. Left. he may have to play 20 21 of them if the Canucks want to stay in the race so that means that at the end of the season he probably would play 68 you're off Matthews when you're trying you're, you're at Tampa out of Michigan right now Alak is a, has an 883 save percentage and if the backup goaltenders in Vancouver played for 500 hockey the Canucks would be in a playoff spot right now because that's how well Thatcher Demko has played. Mm -hmm. He's been, in my opinion, as, as good as the uh, Shesterkin and Vasilevsky for 
the Vancouver Canucks. Wow. He's one of their MVP, really? and uh, he's going to play a lot more for the rest of the season. And I think the hopes of the Canucks making the playoffs kind of lies on Thatcher Demko mm -hmm. and what he can do. But, but that, doesn't it feel to you guys, though, that Bruce Boudreaux and Daryl Sutter have a side bet going on right now? Which guy can run out their number one goalie more often <laughs> before the end of the season? Because Jacob Markstrom and Thatcher Temko, they play every night yeah. in, in Calgary and Vancouver. But I think Sutter's in a bit of a better Oof. position right now. That's he's Vancouver. He still plays them almost place. every night is what True. I'm uh, so Speaking of coaches, uh, Bruce Boudreaux signed a two-year deal with the Canucks, of course, earlier mm -hmm. this year. They started so well under him, 7-0. and But since Pierre, they've won 13 of 25 games. So kind of treading water a bit maybe expected after the new coach bump but has Boudreaux shown enough that he'll be back next season as the coach for the Canucks for sure I think so and listen I, I did an interview today with Canucks uh, GM Patrick Alvin which will run in the athletic tomorrow a little mm -hmm. teaser for you I know you'll take you'll what I got from a and W is and I asked point blank to Patrick Alvin I said a grandpa a burger giving you the confidence to be back to um uh, some and fries was that, listen his record speaks for itself that, that he feels a play and a root beer that he has a connection to his players. He loves the way that his presence behind the bench. He, he stopped short of guaranteeing that he'd be back next year, but every other word was... As you can tell, I, I was very so, hungry. And, and it's important to note because it was announced as a two-year deal, but according to my sources, it's actually a club option okay. for next year on Bruce Boudreaux. So my guess is they pick it up. So ultimately, yes, it will be up to the Canucks, but we're thinking Boudreaux will be back. And Marty St. Louis, also the interim... Being like completely us, quiet on my stream. As you've said on this show as well before, maybe it's up to Marty St. Louis as well, not just the uh, Montreal Canadiens. I, I think that's the only decision. Yeah. I, I mean, I, I think the Habs envision him back for sure. I think this is about Marty St. Louis and... Does he want this kind of life? Mm -hmm. I think the answer is yes. All right, we're almost ready for puck drop. Let's get you down to ice level. Like, what is going on with the puck drop? It was supposed to be drop at least Welcome 10 minutes. Canucks fans. Tonight, we welcome all to the unceded territory of the Musqueam, Squamish, Tsleil-Waututh Nation territories. The three nations celebrate this land with you in the belief of the strength and spirit of sport. Together, let's cheer on the boys. Go, go Canucks, Canucks, go! go. Tonight, we stand together with the courageous people of Ukraine in their time of extreme conflict and need. We mourn their heartbreaking losses, the devastation of their homeland, and are inspired by their relentless bravery and love for their country. Many Canadians are... Yeah, I have the commentator of Mike Slow. Tonight, so you can actually way hear way me talk. I'm more, I'm better commentator. proceeds from tonight's $1 million 50-50 super jackpot to support the humanitarian crisis in Ukraine through the Red Cross of Canada. We invite everyone to please take this opportunity to unite, buy some 50-50 tickets, and make a difference by supporting the families of Ukraine. I'd buy a 50-50 ticket, but you probably gotta be in BC. Tonight, we celebrate the hard work, passion, and dedication of Canadian Olympians who participated in the 2022 Beijing Olympics. As we welcome seven special guests to join us for the Canadian Anthem. From Whistler, a luge athlete, Reed Watts. Woo! From Vancouver, luge athlete, Natalie Corliss. Woo! From Pemberton, luge athlete, Trinity Ellis. Woo! Do you think we'll likely score from the Canucks? Would you please rush if you can remove your hats and join Marie Huey in the singing of 
of O Canada. O Canada. Our home and native land. True patriot love. And all thy sons command. Drawing hearts, we see the light. Our strong and free. Far and wide, O Canada, we stand on God for thee. God keep our land glorious and free. O Canada, we stand on God for thee. O Canada, we stand on God for the damn no Ukrainian anthem. Wow, it is a great night for hockey, and it is sad to beat your starting goalie, Sam Monson. Cancel the Vancouver Canucks. He's won four of his last five starts. He made 28 of 30 saves to beat the Edmonton Oilers in Edmonton back on Saturday. His 21st start and 28th game of the season tonight. Montreal Canadiens, what a chance to wrap up their five-game Canadian road swing in winning four of five. The only loss was last week to Winnipeg. Meantime, Thatcher Demko, one of the busiest goalies in the National Hockey League, already career highs in wins, games played, and he's got the best goals against average of his career going this season at 263. His 932 save percentage is second at home only to Shishurkin with a New York. Oh, so rep they were. They, well rested. they, they were. They admitted to being late. I don't even know what happened. And of course, the Montreal Canadiens beating Edmonton at home as we are off and running. Montreal six. Wait, what happened? The North Division last year as Tottermont brings it in. His shot broken up by Ben Sherratt. As Sherratt from a knee dumps it along the boards. And early on, we got a call, a tripping call in the early stages of this. Ooh, game. are you a tripping? Tottermont as Ben Sherratt stripped him of the puck. He comes underneath him and then... Mott just gets the stick in on the feet. All right, get ready to see me. Um, uh, 14 seconds into the game, Montreal on the power play. So the Habs were time to see me um, uh, blow my nose on stream. St. Louis, Craig said, the best power plays, they don't play checkers. They play chess. Make a couple moves to set up the big move. They get a chance here early. Oh, we got the power play. Let's go. I thought we were the one that got the penalty. I'm like, wait a second. No, no, no. Josh Anderson keeps it moving. In comes Cole Caulfield. He'll dish far board. Picked up by Wyman. All righty. Over the stick of Myers to the near wall. In comes Suzuki. First Montreal Canadiens of 40 points on the season in Nick Suzuki. What do you mean the illness? Puck to Pearson. He hesitates and he'll flip it down. Oh, boy. I'm him. I'm not cluing in on the joke, so Rising Psycho. On the power play from the Montreal Canadiens, especially Brandon Gallagher finally popping one. Oh! Bruh, I just got it. I don't know, I don't think so. And here comes Horvat in quick Maybe they needed extra tests, I don't know. Drop it off behind his net. Here's Weidman from his own zone. Beats the left side. Rem Pitlick, second opportunity, gets it in deep, and there is Gallagher on the puck. Don't worry, I'm sorry. Four game point streak, Arturi Lekin, and he'll drop it off. Bang back up, and it comes out of the zone. I live in the world of big believe. A lot of eyes on the defenseman, and the question mark is how many more games will be he in a Montreal uniform? He's got seven goals this season, two off his career high. Here's Lekin. Gave it away, right to Highmore, and he takes a look. He'll go up the ice. Already fix the baton. Yeah, I got also fixed the game center, and then we're ready. We're ready to go. 
Come on, guys. Get your get your power play sh figured out. Oh. He almost had it figured out. So these are both teams that have struggled this season and are now doing good under a new staff member, but I mean, I haven't really kept to track with um, uh, kept up to date with um, uh, Vancouver, so their streak could have been done, but I mean, they apparently are in light, are close to getting a playoff spot, so it must mean good things. Unless we magically pull a St. Louis Blues that have their fricked and aren't, aren't able to go to the playoffs. Oh yeah. So um, uh, over over my little break that I had the for like basically two weeks break. We had a follow, old man red pill. Thank you for the follow. Much appreciated. Through the hold, the player went down. Just to reach in there, and once you reach in there, you're gonna get the call against you. Canucks one for two in the power play win versus Toronto. Good block there, and that stunned Ravon off, but he got in the way of the Pedersen blast. Pedersen get blasted. Here's one of the hottest. Players in the national hockey right now in Jay Basically, the reason why I took that break was because. Oh no. Drill around. Back up top. Pedersen. Quinn Hughes. Hughes. JT Miller. Back to Hughes. Hughes. Mental health reason, basically. Kicked up by Montembeau. And also business. Miller comes in on a nine game point streak, Craig. 17 points in those nine games. He is a really. Good, well-rounded player. Any rumors about him being traded? Teams should be interested in JT Miller. 63 points on the season. Oh yeah, I should maybe turn this off. Goes back to Miller. Miller near circle. Hughes. Turn my notifications off for uh, hockey-related apps. So Twitter and Sportsnet in the score. And the Habs apps. And the NHL app. Both teams electing to take a change. 35 minutes gone in this first period. Oliver Ekman Larson starts to play. Tanner Pearson up the left wing. Watched by Kale Clegg and again slotted down the ice. Basically, there I have all those just to make sure I'm up to date with the Hawk news. Oh, 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 oh. Come on. Oof. This is also Montreal's last um, uh, away game of their trip. So let's end it off on a. I like to end it off on a positive note, but also at the same time, if we do end up on a positive note, we're now, twi uh, we're now a 30th. So we'll be going from the from a guaranteed top three to top five. There you go. Oof! No, Romanov! No. Frick! He got what happened. What happened? I don't even show what happened. I guess he either got it. I'm assuming he got it, the puck on his hand. Ooh. 
points back of that wild card spot. As Tyler Mott jamming in. Lamico following up. Mott, Lamico, good job below the goal line. Brendan Gallagher on it. Hit by Highmore. Then Lamico's turn. Lays the body on Sharat. Chip free and it's back to Weidman in his own zone. Let me check something real quick on Twitter. Mega, wait, let me finish this up. No, plays over. All right, I want to check. I want to see the. I want to see the lineup here. No, it's still primo. Okay, so Jake, that was just a bug on the NHL app, a website. So yeah, Jake Allen ha isn't in the lineup yet. I'm assuming they're probably gonna trade him, especially now that he's like healthy. That's a perfect. He's a perfect trade option, especially since we're restarting. You could get a first round pick off of that maybe. At least a second. Good look in tight from Suzuki. Here's Pearson. In stride. Closed off by Alexander Romanov. Good pace to this hockey game early in Vancouver. JT Miller at the line. Watch by Caulfield. Miller works it for Pearson. With Besser in front. Pearson leaves for Besser. Side of the net. Still loose. And finally. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Where's my shoe? Shoe! There you go. Come on. Get that shit out of there, bud. Stop letting them shoot on him. Get that shit out. Don't let Vancouver score any more than they have. Montopo is not a shooting range. Bad dance with me, this woman is my destiny. I said, Ooh, and up and dance with me. To me, this is where if I'm Bruce Boudreau, I'm sending out JT Miller right here with an offensive zone face off against a tired team, knowing you got the timeout coming up right after this. Face off one by Vancouver. Hughes. Lekin and hits him. Hughes on the puck. The net high more. Lamico's parked in front. Back up top for Shen. Shen. Getting in the way was Red Pickley. He's got some space. Pickley Come on. Darn. Gets taken down. Rest in peace. No, 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 no. Ah, uh, take that, Vancouver. And no surprise, you got Shed, you got Romanov, two of the top guys when it comes to hits in the NHL. 
Well, you know, you're going to see a play. Here's Pentlick coming in. Good hit there by Luke Shanny. Bruce Brown talked about it. Gives you everything he's got. Kev Clegg makes a nice play there because he gets up right on the play. He doesn't let the player get on him and try to impose his size on him. Nice play by Clegg. Hoffman, one timer deflected twice and goes wide into the netting as Romanoff and Shen are 10 11 respectively in the hit parade in the National Hockey League so far this season. Good. No, 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 no advertisements. We're gone. Hey, Dark Samus Bell, let's go. Woo hoo, woo hoo. Alrighty, so for this intermission, we'll be reacting to Dupe Freestyle Nightmare featuring Michael Jones. This is a cow chop video, and I will tell you in the video why we are reacting to that. He probably won't guess it if you aren't Rising Psycho. Because Rising Psycho is the one that sent me that video. So, yeah. We'll be reacting to that. And then. What else? What else should I react to? Maybe a meme compilation. Yeah, we'll do a meme compilation. If he posted six hours ago, so we'll do that. Well, let me copy that link. Set it to myself. Open up a Google Docs. I'll make a Google Docs of like, oh, there you go. PP Traction versus Worst PK in the NHL. And Dem that's Montreal. And the Vancouver Connects is key parts of the game. This is Demko. Brilliant. Already. Getting that doc. Video to look at. Game one of a seven game homestand for Vancouver in the midst of that playoff chase. Starting the night, five points back of the wild card. Of course, the trade deadline, March 21st this year. I know you'll be part of that trade deadline day on TSN, Craig. And a lot of conversations, a lot of moving parts as we get closer. Yeah, All right, and let me coffee the link that rising sec. Whoa. He goes, I hear all the speculation. He goes, but I belong here. This is where I feel I'm going to be after March 21st. I'll tell you what, if you're going to trade JT Miller, you better be making a heck of a trade because he's a heck of a player for this Vancouver Canucks. With a year left on his contract and a really good number. He's on the puck right now after winning the faceoff. Leaves for Hunt. Well, uh, we got those videos ready. We got two videos, meme compilations and the cow chop video. And he gets it to Besser. You saw the veteran Paul Byron on the bench, and he's a guy that said, you know what, I would love to finish my career as a Montreal Canadian with all the chatter. One of those veteran guys in the room for the halves. Nice play by Brett Kulak there to poke the puck away. Here comes Anderson with a burst of speed. Anderson brings it in, flips it on net. Demko, no problem. Anderson got the return feed and he whiffed as Myers lost his stick. So Tyler Myers, no stick right now, and he goes and shoves his check down in Suzuki. Pass for Caulfield in his skates as Clegg's got to hustle back. He was the deep, and it's on the stick of Weidman. Weidman for Suzuki. Little flip for Caulfield. Cole Caulfield tried to return the pass. Caulfield to the line. Long shot rebound available. Demko made the stop. And Anderson couldn't get his stick on that loose puck. Suzuki freed it. Gave it away, though. And here's Horvat. He'll dish to Chayasson. Alex Chayasson waits in front for Horvat and couldn't get a good shot away. Horvath oh, boy. Puck below the goal line. Horvat using the boards. Oliver Ekman lost. Oh, rip. Comes to Horvat. Waits, shoots, tried to go up high. Got the shoulder on it, finds the rebound, and he'll close. As the shot 6-3 in favor of Vancouver, nearly 
I was correct with something, I just realized. It has to do with school. I was trying to do something yesterday with school to pay off loans. And I realized that some the in, one of the information pieces I gave are of my home. So I'll have to message my parents when I go to do something with my loans. Alrighty, so... So far, game has been honestly not that exciting as I thought as it would have been. But, I guess we're just the first period, so that makes sense. So, hopefully soon it gets more interesting. Um, uh... Oh yeah, I should see how my TikTok is doing that I posted. Yeah, check the TikToks, uh, the Telji, Telji, um, uh, Studios TikTok. Is that a command I have? Okay, right in Psycho, you check. No, oh, uh, yes I do, okay, yeah. Oh, I gotta fix it, it's not Telji Media anymore, dang. Oh, I got 62 views, okay, not that bad. Voila, there you go, the proper one. Yep, four month subscriber. Tells you gaming. Let's go. When you follow yourself, when you're sub to yourself. Donald and Calvary and Kim St. Pierre inducted to the Hockey Hall of Fame. He's a brilliant goaltender for Team Canada. Let me go. Wait, do I have a merch command yet? No, I do not rip. That's awkward. Sorry, not stream elements, my bot. Alrighty, come on. Come on! Yeah! Lock it in! Woohoo! 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 Uh, no. Come on. Give me that goal song. There you go. We'll put it on. Uh, hey! 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 Go, Habs, go! 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 Hey! 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 Hey, hey, hey! 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 Hey, hey, hey! Hey! No 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 fuck off 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 fuck They scored motherfucker They scored during the goal horn Motherfuckers It's tied game Fuck. 
Wow. I did see it get deflected, but no, it's straight in. Yeah. You're right. All right, Alan. I'll do a stream I'm a, a, a merge thing right after. Man, I was gonna message my brother and everything. Good thing I didn't. I mean, usually when Montreal scores first, they, um, uh, they tend to win the game, so. So I'm not worried. Not yet, at least. Come on. One Montreal. No, 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 get the fuck out, 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 no, 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 leave, that's a go, was he? Was he, Marial? Oh! So close. We got so close, but not enough. So in the end, we got a penalty. Fuck. Good chances at both ends. Reperonies. At Subway, our breads rise to every occasion. Perfected through 30 years of freshly baking bread daily. Because when you step up your bread, you step up your sandwich. Try our new chicken bacon and peppercorn ranch sub on our new better tasting breads today. All right. Only at Subway. At Kubota, we're all about getting it done. And now's the time to take your productivity to the next level with durable Kubota equipment that's ready for whatever you throw at it. From the farm to the job. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Calm job. down. Whoa, 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 whoa. No advertisements there. No advertisements in my ch channel. Alrighty. But also, another thing I was saying, no. No, no, no. They're saying that Kerry Price played his last game, 91.94. It's like, whoa, whoa, let calm down. He just got injured. Calm the freak down. What? Brock Besser has been linked to Montreal. What? <laughs> what did I just read?
literally my reaction to what I just read. What did I just read? It didn't focus, but you know. Montreal, get the sh your shit together. Start shooting more and start winning more face-offs. Yeah, come on, Vancouver player score. Okay, come on, Montreal. Let's do this. So it does become very special to return home to your roots. So just under three minutes to go here in this first period. It will be the Canucks Tormentator this season. Tormentor. Just dealing this person's um, uh, caption. No big deal. Instagram post, that's why I'm doing I'm grabbing pictures here. that onto that iCloud. Alright, time to actually like do a post on the TelG Studios Instagram. Let's go, finally. Vancouver 
do a story for the first time in a while. Oh, stupid, um, uh, very successful. Champetri winds up high and wide. He blistered that one. That's all the way down the ice. Bruh. Bruh. No, what are you doing? Okay, they finally uploaded it. Okay. That's the end of that period. Da, 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 da. We'll be right back actually. I know, we'll do the this patent right here. Oh. Yeah. We'll do the overview of the period. And then I'll be right back. The so goals Canucks one, Canadians one, shot six, Montreal seven, Canucks hit zero zero, both tides, penalty minutes. They both got penalties, so yeah, do. Um, uh, it was Tyler Mott tripping Ben Chirot. Bring off. That's. Vancouver's Tyler Mont Montreal's Brett Kulak holding Elias Patterson. Then face-off wins, Vancouver 67%, Montreal 33%. And then zero takeaway giveaways, hits, or block shots for both teams. This is weird. <laughs> Alrighty, I'll be right back. Let me just turn that off because no copyright plus. I don't want the 2.0 of the Stanley Cup Finals. I'll be back in a bit.
I'm just looking now for the freaking screen record. So this is the like freestyle nightmare f featuring YouTube. Michael right, Jones. And we also have Michael from he he does stuff for the Rooster Teeth on the Achievement Hunter YouTube.com. Yeah, is that that's what it, it is? <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Sure. So Michael's gonna help us with some like outrageous searches. Uh, basically, we just we just slap the keyboard okay, and do sure, random shit sure. like that. Or if you have something specific, like like I I like to put in random words so I can do like dupe, you know, like okay. Dupe. And then we see what comes up with dupe, and and we just watch. You know, I see the first one obviously looks like a gem right off the bat. Dude, dude. So. This is from nine years ago. Yeah, man. <laughs> Holy shit, 2006. It looks go. older than that, I'll be honest. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What's going on right now? What's this happening? What's going on? What the fuck? Oh, hey, I've heard this, this song before. Is this like, have you? Ha where? No, no, it's no, not. It's Alrighty, Crazy Psycho. Nightmare, 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 nightmare. What the fuck was that, dude? I don't know what's wrong with calling the cops. Why is there Five Nights and Freddy shit under dupe? Dupe, dupe, dupe. Dude, there's a sick. dupe subculture that I wasn't aware existed. Well, now, you know, through through the search. Oh, dude, it's Olo all over again. Oh, no. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Dupe freestyle skates. Are we gonna get some. Dupe! Oh, we gonna get some oh, dupe shit? This is a legitimate duping happening right now. Oh, my it's God. It's an ad for dupe skates. Dupe skates? 
but it's fucking classy. Look at this guy, man. This is beautiful. Yeah, this is kind of nice. This is really beautiful. <laughs> uh, oh, okay. Holy shit, he's got Hopefully some I don't got copyrighted for any of this. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you see me dupe? Hey. Do you think the cameraman is wearing dupes while yeah, filming the, him How else could you keep up with him? Oh, he's in a car! <laughs> Wait, the camera guy was holding his hand for a second there! <laughs> what the fuck? I couldn't do that. I couldn't do anything you couldn't like that. dupe it. He took off his dupes and then he had his, root, what, his normal what, shoes what, on the beach. on the beach what? with his dupes? Alright, well, wow. I guess they don't want to. Oh, ho, 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 dupe guys. I know you're watching this video and I know what you're thinking. You want to send us some of those fucking dupes, dude. You saw what we did with the Olos oh. and you want to send Don't drop off of my video. Oh, fuck no, that you can put your shoe in it. Wait. It's like not even, you put, you can make your dupe. normal shoes your yeah. shoe into a dupe turns skate. into yeah. a dupe. What the fuck? A dupe shoe. A shoe dupe. Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> All right, well. Michael, do you think you... You, you got the hang of it now, you see how to do it, you, uh, just, you just put something yeah, in. Yeah, so you just, it can be real words? It can be, it can be whatever. What, what about squelp? Squelp? Is that a thing? Squelp? Squelp. Squelp. Squelp Bob Squelp. It's squelp. Um, squelp. Super Mario Blind Episode 21 Squelp. squelp. <laughs> what? <laughs> what the heck? What does that mean? It's in, it's in Super Mario. What? Is it? I think he added that. Hello, everybody. Holy shit. It's me. So it's sorry. me. <laughs> <laughs> Is this a fucking Let's Play by Mario? So it's me. He's playing his own game. It's me. Conveniently recycling it. Man, I'm reacting to video. Reacting oh, to that, video. Uh, was that a squelp? Yeah. Or was that a, I want to see the squelp. Where does reacting a video to, of people reacting to a video. Damn. Damn. He hates chapter four. He so, hates chapter four. That's the description. <laughs> also spoilers. <laughs> yeah, where the fuck is squelp? I don't even know where the fuck Wait, that's that voice. Is that yeah, his voice? He's doing voices. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> Squack. What? <laughs> he's not even trying anymore. He's just like he's Squirt. just slurping. He's slurping and skipping. This is weird. I would make a, a comment, but I think, uh, yeah. if ever this person watches my channel, I don't want to get. I'll wait till I'm done. I would make it a joke right here, but. And I'm gonna wait till I'm done, Brock. Uh, the oh, the 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 I'll be done with with uh. I'll wait till April's over. There you go. That's how I save myself. Yeah, you found his channel. Ooh, what the fuck is that? What is the top result? I don't want to see this. It actually is. I don't want to see this. That's how I save myself right there. Is this still oh, good, no. Rising Psycho? Oh, he farted! <laughs> he farted! He farted. <laughs> he farted! He farted and it stinks. <laughs> what? What the fuck? What the fuck? When does it end? It just... That was... What the fuck? What was that? Was Wee. Oh god, dude. Yeah, this go. might be another one of those, like, practice things. Like what the, the fuck is going on? I just don't want to have the volume be so loud that my voice th isn't called. heard. What's going on here right now? Is this, is this taking four? <laughs> oh shit. What the fuck? Was that... He's coming for you. What's up with that, like, paint oh boy. on the door? What is Somebody going on it? here? Oh boy. Hi. <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> Hi! They're learning! This is a... <laughs> I like that. I like oh, that. Okay. <laughs> she looks like somebody came what? over the door. <laughs> what the fuck? Blurp, this is stupid. This is two hours long! <laughs> this is two hours long! That's pretty stupid. <laughs> Wait, hang on, let's see where it go. Okay, we've seen where it goes. Oh, Jesus what Christ, dude. What the fuck is this shit? 
Is this a cool Google Hangout? Vixie the Vulpix's Den. I just want to know how the, the fuck they the discovered den. this. He's using Google Hangouts to record a screen. Dude, please take me away. Are they, are they talking this is like how teachers do their stuff like nowadays. I can't fucking hear Damn, he's dead. That is a fringe. It makes me hard when they hop. Dude, take me out of here. What about? You don't want to see. Oh. Two T2s. Two T2s toys. He's shitting out shapes. Look at the hundred and twos! Holy shit! What? Click here for free games and coloring pages. A whole slide came out of him? Free games? Let's check out the coloring pages. What's the free games? Fucking Christ, dude. Oh, no, like don't tell me this is where this comes into. What? No. Alright, let's hey, what do you what do you think puzzles like? If this is paint, can you, can you, see, can you see the puzzle? Whoa! <laughs> it shows you what the fuck <laughs> they are, and I'm still fucking it. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to put a piece in the middle. <laughs> What's this guy? B ball player 913. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> what you the fuck? You can't do that! On the carpet? It's like he, he didn't know it was gonna happen. He's like, I turn, it turn it off! <laughs> turn it off, guys! Stop recording! What? I made a mess! Sharp? Sharp? Sharpitar? What is this? We're, we've entered the realm of Sharpit. Okay. Um. I know I say all the time my knives are extremely sharp. Holy fuck, this, this, time this, is not, this is not a, a father you want to meet the first time you go on a date with your girlfriend. He's going to shave the ink off paper. This one is being made for Tim Owsley. Owsley, I think, is the correct way. To Tim Owsley's getting this knife here. I don't know who's getting it, but they're going to kill real good with it. <laughs> but this is just to show you kind of how sharp. <laughs> what? He's cutting paper right now. This is the yeah, knife we need here in this house. No fucking way. It's blurry. <laughs> you can't really no, tell. he's doing it. He's, he's scratching it. Two blades will shave ink off of paper. Wow. wow. Unbelievable selling That's point right and there. And it cuts paper. What? We have knives, <laughs> but they're not that sharp. Don't cut your arm. Don't cut yourself. No, don't do it. Whoa, 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 TOS! 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 You can cut ink off the paper. You can also take someone's face off and wear it. What the fuck? Hostage escape. It's just all these. What is this one? Toopy, dude. People are big on. Oh, this is where this is where it came from. That's why I got this recommended. Dude, doopy doopy. What? What is this episode? <laughs> fucking horrifying. It's also a stuffed cat, and his tail looks like a dick. Look at it. Oh no. I'm not sure I feel comfortable. Look at his fucking dick tail. <laughs> oh, okay, so let's... Hey, kid, I'm that noise you hear at night. Tonight, I'm gonna put my cock in your ear. <laughs> what? <laughs> Let's see what kind of character this guy is. <laughs> oh, he's, got, he's got one favorite video. He's got one favorite video. It's what? He'd like to give away? Boy, soon when you do this post for me, the confirmed sense of Christ's dick. I need to play for pedophiles. <laughs> <laughs> this turns it. <laughs> one like video on the confirmed pedophiles channel. Just watch. Just look at what he could win. You received all those coins. Hot. Hot. What the fuck is a trunking? I mean, it hey, looks like a like a CB radio. Reach APX and welcome back. Uh, we are now on episode number two of how oh, to man. program your trunk tracking scanner. Uh, oh, dude! In this episode, we're just going to focus on some of the conventional frequencies. Okay. Uh, we're going to program sure. some like one radio repeaters that are two for Ottawa, and we are going to program okay. uh, some of the. Got it. And because the data right, is completely up to date and not very well maintained. Um, it also lists Carleton University, you'll see Transpro. Unclip those, get those out of there. Well They're out of date. Of oh, I don't want any of those. I just want the end of the day. I'm going to do it. So I took those check marks out. In system name, I'll call hmm? it Ham Radio. I think, I think you just need to wrap it up. <coughs> I mean, 
think we just yeah, we just. Uh, I, think, I think we just got yeah, around. Yeah, the next thing I think we should. Okay. I think we should just end it there. Uh, <clears throat> That was fascinating. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Did Damn. You know that before you watched that? Before I watched that, no. I didn't know anything. You really. just like I literally go on YouTube and just search that. stuff up. That, that is that all this talk. video mm -hmm. is? You're, but you're, th uh, th thanks for joining us. <clears throat> yeah. Damn. So, oh, I, 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 I don't want to. Yeah, your hands are sweaty. It. No, it's not. Is it sweaty? It's sweaty. No, you're yeah, no, so thank no, you. Thank you. My no. hand is not. My hand is not that sweaty. Oh damn. Oh damn. Clammy at best. Okay. But well, not sweaty. I'll take, I'll take clammy. Yeah. But... No, that's fine. Tonight I'm gonna put my cock in your ear, little <laughs> boys and girls. <laughs> wow, that was some amazing dupage going on in that whatever the hell I just did. If you'd like to subscribe, the face click here to watch more crap on YouTube and laugh at it. Also, click here to watch another video that I might possibly be in. Maybe yelling at some other stuff. Maybe this. But here comes Pearson, and then you're gonna see the slash right there. Let me take the display capture off real quick. Alrighty, that was first intermission. A great look right in that high slot, but didn't get that shot away. He sure did have a good look. They worked it re really nicely in, to, in and around where Horvath There you go. Just get the hold of the puck. <laughs> Just. Here's Hughes trying to thread it across. Kept on pressing back there. Flip back to Pedersen. Up top, Hughes, space, face, shoots. Good stop by Montembeau. Get that shit out of there. It's amazing, Hughes. Back to back, 40 plus assist seasons. And he's done it before turning 23, matching the great Pavel Bure in that department in franchise history. So, a young man with such a bright future, but he... Oh! 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 I think I may have got... Oh, never mind, that's just penalty. Never mind, I'm wrong. I thought some of Mike Kaufman scored there. where he can create something because his mind is fast his feet are fast you talk about the assist you got to have the hand skills to be able to make those kind of plays and Quinn Hughes does Pitlick Pearson won by Pitlick back to Petrie 45 seconds left in the minor penalty to Hoffman Oliver Ekman Larson Starts the play, sent to the right side for Hunt, who's now on a four. Well, a lot of the stream is now correct with its info as well, so we back to we back to it. Tried to feather it through. Ekman Larson sends it across. Oh no, get the frig out of there, buddy. Jason had a good look inside as well. Garland. Right in front, that play. At the intermission, I'm gonna go grab something. The root from the root beer. Totally 100% from what it is. Totally not number two. Is on the ice and he's racing after the puck. So three shots on that man advantage for the Canucks. They had none their first time around and some good chances. Lamico. More high, more releasing quickly. Here comes Mott winding up the speed. Tyler Mott backhand missed wide. Lamico, freed it, Mott, back up top, Hamannick, pumps it, Gallagher, that stung as Gallagher got in the way. Pass in front, Mott, weak attempt, missed, high more on the puck bar boards. Voila. Lamico, spinning try, and Montebo at the pad down, Lamico again. Walks in front, tries to take it to the forehand, and paling stick in the way. Damn, there's an actual emo for beer. I didn't even think, I didn't even realize that. Trying to skate it off, but you're not gonna miss any time. No well, there you go. I set up the thing. We talked at the outset about we'll be right back. The emotional barometer for this team. Be quick. We certainly all of that and more. Samuel Montebo again has made some nice stops. You heard Marty Baron talk about it. Confidence is a funny thing, and you find it. It can do wonders for a young goalie, and he seems to have found that confidence now. 
As Suzuki for Clay. Hale Clay for a shot hit Anderson. Here's Shen. Shen stretching ice. Chase on. Tried that top pass. Anderson back right at center ice with Suzuki. Vasily Pont Colson will dump it in. First off, Paul Colson at the U18 a few years ago in Sweden. What a player for Russia losing in that gold medal game. Here's Hoffman. Come on. Nope. And you talk about that U18 tournament in Sweden and one of the great upsets I've ever seen because Russia won the semifinal against a loaded mm -hmm. USA team that I thought would never Yummy, yummy in Jack my tummy. Hughes, Cole Caulfield, Spencer Knight, Trevor Zegers, Cam York, Matt Boldy. And, you know, it, it just goes to show you that on any given night, somebody can beat another team. Yaroslav Askarov was brilliant in the net. Can I throw another first uh, rounder at you? Lucas Raymond. Who uh, had the hat trick for Sweden in that final, the golden goal in overtime? Yeah, that was the uh, that was the I mean that was the gold medal game, but you know the US losing trying to, to find Russia something here. Yeah, final was just honestly I never thought anybody would beat them. I never thought anybody could beat them. Here comes Jake Evans. He'll spin around in the Next on my stream. Uh tells you gets hydrated stream. This isn't this is a thing. Or if you want me a drink, take a drink. Or just hydrate. This is also a thing. Oh! Break. So close. Yes. So I am not doing a shot. Vancouver was trying to make a line change, and he got the puck up quickly. There he is, coming right out of his net, and then. Not playing, getting hydrated tonight. And Armia trying to get Demko off his mark. We talked about Armia in the first period, and there he is again. A real. Yeah, it's the equivalent of shots is um. Uh, Shots basically slash chug your drink. What's that? Here's Tanner Pearson at center ice. He'll shoot it in. In comes Miller. Montembeau swings along the boards looking for Byron. Yeah, JT Miller continues his hot streak. His point streak continues to click as paling. But it will go down on a night we get hydrated, though. Does JT Miller as we got a penalty coming up? Montreal Canadiens on the power play when we come back in a 1 1 game at Rogers. At Subway, whoa, 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 whoa. Calm the freak down, buddy. Calm the freak down. No advertisement here. Yo, Nintendo Radio. Let's go. Hello, bonjour, hello, hello, bum, 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 bum. there you go. What do you mean up next? Bruh. Wait, the stream actually ended. I find that hard to believe. Oh, they be advertising on my channel as well, I see. Like, bruh. Like, excuse me, I'm here.
Yeah, apparently the Nintendo 24-7 stream ended. So that was right after the giveaway, the slash hit on Paley's hands. And... Like, how does that make sense? Chase after it. Your 24-7 radio stream. The heck? Is it truly 24-7 if it ends? Good job, Montreal, defending that. Let's go. Come on, you're on the freaking power play, buddy. Shoot the freaking puck, buddy. Shoot the freaking puck. Stop hesitating. Stop hesitating! Bruh! Stop hesitating! Stop hesitating! It's time to stop! No more! I knew this was gonna be a good, good one. Let's go. Just slow. You can just see my back. Okay, come on. Oh, shade. Oh yeah, so trade deadlines literally in 11. Oh, fuck. Bruh. Here comes Brock Besser. A little bit of pace 
I know what we're doing today. I gotta get some stuff ready here. Yeah, they don't really give the goaltender any opportunity to read when they're gonna release it or where they're trying to hit. And you gotta get yourself in good position. Josh Anderson over the line. Anderson watched by Hoaglander. Takes him into the boards. You know, a lot of talk about the Michigan and those fancy goals in the NHL. Hoaglander was doing it in the SHL for years. We didn't do this, Mario. He was a YouTube sensation. As we got a penalty coming up in a one-one tie here at Rogers Arena. It's, Ma it's March 10, Mario Day. How did I completely forget? What the heck? Bring off Subway. Stop giving me your freaking ads, buddy. Well, it's a good thing. Whoa, whoa, what the? There you go. Let me change that. Oh, never mind. We're past midnight. That's why. <laughs> I didn't forget. Mm. <laughs> Mario. Fuck, connect scored. Motherfucker. Chips it to center ice. Brendan Gallagher on the move. Tied up by Oliver Ekman Larson. Weidman holds the zone. 
Here's Kale Kling. Wanted Gallagher, missed him just out of his reach. And it's flipped back, and Hoffman will restart in his own zone. Alrighty, I have a video to show y'all. Shoveled up for top and he gets a touch to center ice. Go, go, have, 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 go, have, go, go, have, go. And here comes Besser with a step. Brock Besser feathers the backhand. Wanted Hunts poked away and it's right to Hamannick because the Habs are looking to break out two on one, but Hamannick works it in deep. Cole Caulfield for Suzuki. Nick Suzuki drops it off. Josh Anderson. Back Come on. Ah, oh, Tabernacle. Suzuki. Pushed by Hamannick. Back up to the line. Petrie. His shot. Anderson. Backhand. Oh. Shot. The body went wide. Suzuki on the puck. Hesitates. Flips. Kulak. Kulak. Caulfield. Tried to bring it to the forehand and lost the handle. Pearson took it away. As Pearson chips it in, Canucks getting a change. Petrie skates it up ice for Montreal. Jeff Petrie wanted Suzuki. And the Habs bring it in offside. And there's Brock Besser. Putting the Canucks ahead. That's our playoff song. Again, the patience and the poise. In, in a real tight area. I mean, the Habs no playoff songs right there. They're Besser teasing us. Out, gets the first shot, and then off the rebound, just settles that puck down and buries it over the right shoulder of Montembeau. That's a mage. Hops right into the slot. Reaching for it was the speedy Paul Byron. Paling, big body check. And Shen. Continues to rack up the hits. You know, Brock Besser came on the scene, 25 goals in his first 44 games. That was a faster clip than Pavel Bure. As Shen accepts the pass, loads up and wants him bow. Woo, Shen! The glove reached back the other way, and he made the Let's save. Let's go. Yeah, kind of like he, he, keeping your eyes on that puck. Reached back behind him. It was a real good play off that shot by Luke Shen. She had a couple Stanley Cups with the Tampa Bay Lightning. And now finding a home in Vancouver. The last three Stanley Cups have the Shed name on it. Braden with the Blues in 19 and Luke in 20 and 21 with the Tampa Bay Lightning. Another win for Horvat, too clean. Ekman Larson has to backpedal. Myers. Pitlick on the four check. Released all the way back to Jeff Petrie. Horvat swinging at him. As Pod pulls and had the puck, but the Canucks charge with an offside. I need this intermission to come up soon. I need to pee. 2 1. The Canucks have taken the lead on a lovely goal. Sure, sure, I have sure, come on. 
Have, please score. Have, please score. Have, score, please score, please score. Let's go the half, please. Go. Don't you dare fucking score during this celebration. Let me celebrate once for once. Hey. Hey! No, 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 no. Save that fucking puck. Hey. Hey, hey. 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 Hey, hey, hey. Tomorrow I have to play some Mario games. You know, it's not like, okay, you make a mistake and you don't, you don't worry about it. The players are just playing a lot more freely and that becomes really important for performance. 13 goals, came on the scene as a rookie with 18. And Arturi Lekkinen, my goodness. Second multi-goal game now in his last five, so really delivering for Montreal. Come on. Woo-hoo-hoo. Alexander Romanov, what a chance. JT Miller did a head check. He was with him. Bring off from JT Miller. To the line. Shoveled in for Pearson. You're not even a true JT. Brock Besser into the corner. Romanov can't clear. Besser slings it up top. Hunt. You're a JTM. Bruh. Imagine. This has been a fun hockey game. Hot. Got him. Talk about Montebo with the confidence. He just out there catches the puck. Here it is. If anybody wants to know where it is, it's in the glove. Thatcher Demko on Alexander Romanov. We saw earlier just his ability to read the play quickly and then just establish a position that is outstanding. Romanov fires that puck, but again, you're not going to get it through the body. No, 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 no. Get the fuck out. Get the fuck out. No, no. Get the fuck out. But just a great display of what makes you so dangerous. He was in a phone booth, spun around, framed his see. face, and zipped it across. You talked about how much fun this game has been. It's always been fun watching Quinn Hughes. <laughs> the games, I remember when he was 16 at the National Team, I thought, wow, this is fun. This is going to be a fun two years playing there. Then obviously, you know, he hasn't missed the beat in the National Hockey League. He's such a terrific player. And, I've said it before, if the Vancouver Canucks can find two defensemen that can play in their top two pair, they got an elite number one in Quinn Hughes. But they need two more defensemen to get this team to a better competitive level where they can go head-to-head -head against the better teams. Yeah, Jim and Ellen make pretty good hockey players, don't they? His parents, outstanding. This guy is such a star. Hughes on the puck. 
Hey, I was alone. Ha, for you. Literally, the crowd is like half red jerseys, half blue jerseys. Just split. Holy shit! Power play, let's a go. Frickin' Myers. So let's see what Montreal can the do jerk. Now. So those two former Sabres first round picks is Myers, the cross check on Armia. Pop pass in front, Paling, try to get it in front for Anderson. Here's Suzuki. Come on, Caulfield, do not hesitate. There you go, like that. You know the goalie's good. Nick Suzuki. Wyman. Back for Suzuki. Come on, Caulfield, let's get a goal here. There was that save from earlier where Montembeau on that beautiful feed from Garland made the stop. <laughs> and there you talked about Caulfield, yeah, maybe walking in a little bit closer. Get that shot away as Wyvin at the line. Back to Caulfield. Come on, Caulfield. Let's trick shot him. Trick shot him. Down low feed right in front. That was a good job in Tempco. And that time some pushing and shoving. Maybe a late whistle. Demko had it, and look at this. The pot stirred up. Here that pot has been stirred. jumped in there trying to get what he thought was a loose puck, and when that happens and you're poking your stick in there, Whoa. it draws the attention of the opponents. And it's exactly what happened there, but I like the fact that Josh Anderson's in there hunting for that puck. So a minute 12 remaining in the minor penalty. So used to that North Division. I had Bobber. each other every other day, but second and final meeting. Canucks took the first one back at the Bell Center last year. And it's been a great finishing game thus far. As oh! And Demko oh my God, so close. Goal. Not an easy save for Thatcher Demko. So Demko close. Is going back short side. You know, Demko coming off with his eyes. You know, sometimes that short side opens up. We saw Lekkinen beat him in the first period on the on the first Montreal goal. But that is really strong goal to anybody Thatcher Demko. I think Marty Biro is right. I think that uh, this Demko guy has been pretty good this year. You've got to love the pregame foresight by Marty Biro. Speaking of former Sabres and first round draft picks. The Marty party is almost never wrong, Craig. <laughs> Here's Gallagher. Up the Sharon. Come on. Rem Pitlick. Sharon. Try to get Hoffman that one timer. Sharon. There's the bomb in and out of the. Oof. Hoffman let it go. 
Come on, pit like that front. Rustin Pepperoni is on the other side of the ice now. Come on, Anderson's right at the front. Get him at a good angle and he'll get it. Power plays over. Delays in his own zone. Checked by Highmore. Three shots on that power play for Montreal. Here's Myers. Able to free it. In comes Lamico. Weak backhander handled. Lamico hits the side of the net. No, 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 Oh my god! 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 Oh Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my it just comes off of that. God damn, he finally let it in. Stick of Jeff Petrie and then off the post. It's like, wait a second. Garland nearly got there. Nope, it's not in. And Lavico didn't get a stick on it, went off the stick of Jeff Petrie in between. Holy shit. Right that there was close. The post, so a good break for the Montreal Canadiens. He finally let it in, and then it was like literally right beside the line. So if some, all they had to do was like hit the puck, like just slightly tap it, and it would have gone in. But then he realized it was, it wasn't in yet. So he like just gloved it. He's like, okay, none of that shit. Alrighty. Oh, that was quite the period. We are tied up with that game. So, for this period, the Habs. Just. Yeah, so we're gonna text. The Habs are. Do -do -do. Tied with the Canucks. There was a goal each in that period. Uh, da, 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 da. Nine shots on goal for Montreal, 14 for Vancouver, which gives the total of 21 to 15 in Vancouver's favor. In this period, there was two penalties each, I believe. Face-off wins are still heavily in Vancouver's favor. 62% to Montreal's 39%. Zero block shots, takeaways, giveaway hits. I just don't think that's being updated because it sounds wrong. For penalties, Montreal's Hoffman slash Besser. Vancouver's Miller slash Paling. Montreal's Anderson uh, close, uh, close, uh, put his hand on the puck. I didn't know that was a penalty, but apparently it is. And then Vancouver's Myers, stupid Myers, checked, cross-checked Armia. So that's what it is for this period. Uh, people that score this, oh yeah, I didn't even announce that. First period, Lekkanen and Har Harmonic scored. Uh, uh, Lekkanen was assisted by Evans and Pitt, like Harmonic, was assisted by Hunter Miller. And then in the second period, Besser scored, assisted by Miller and Hughes. And then Lekkanen scored again, and assisted by Pitt, like. So yeah, that's that period. I'll be right back. You gotta go use the loo. Yeah, after that, we'll do some Mario 
We'll watch some Mario memes. In order to celebrate Mario Day. Alrighty, I am back and uh, we are going to be looking at some memes, let's go. <laughs> More specifically, Mario memes.
And we'll be doing much more at a later date. Oh shit. I messed up. Already, LJ Gaming exposes. Damn the parkour though. I am back, by the way. It's cops are too lazy to chase them, I guess. Why is the volume so bad? Hello? Bruh. Give me some good quality videos. Ooh, Fortnite. to the back rooms. Oof! Give me! Better 
No, but this is a classic. If you're watching Rose Exfango, you know this one. <laughs> Damn, bananas aren't effective. Will fill up his gas tank at these prices. They will be flying. Accident. Damn, he got charged. <laughs> oh my god! Damn. Raising Psycho ain't watching. He loves these. Are kidding you. Oh, shit, he's going for the wall. Run, run, run! Another Mario vs. Pac-Man thing here. Animation. Looking for the OG because there's lots of. Rip offs. Ok. 
Okay. Red Mario. Why didn't he run away? Okay, I fought, I fought, they scored, uh, Vancouver scored again, I was like, no way. I missed like two seconds. So for future reference, I'm gonna I'm gonna post a schedule, but I don't. It's basically gonna be like a if everything goes to plan type of schedule, and if I feel like it. So they're like half commitment to the schedule. Myers cleans it up, dumps it back in. 
Walks it in. Horvat down low. That was picked off and cleared. Here comes Cole Cofield. Uh, Mondays and Tuesdays are always going to be days I don't stream because. Hesitates, takes it in the corner. Just because, why not? And the Canucks control. Basically, my my school days, my most busy school days, basically. And, and that might, oh, fuck. JT Miller coming Bruh. off the bench and Jeff Petrie just not being strong on that puck and as Miller just goes a little bit to his left he snaps it back the other way on Montembeau and it's just a enough to open up that part of the net Miller makes no mistake 19 points in his last 10 games for JT Miller he has been uh, no. Again. Missed the mark. Not Lincoln a penalty. Thank God. Elias Pedersen right back to Hoaglander. With Garland. Hoaglander. Over for Hunt. Hamannick tees it up. Blocked in front. Oof. And get through to Montembeau. Hoaglander. Below the goal line. Protects. Oh, Pedersen was ready to load up, but Clegg took it away. Six minutes gone in this third period. Can Montreal battle back and end this Canadian oh. road trip on a high note? Next up, it'll be the Seattle Kraken back in Montreal on Saturday. Trying to take four of five on this Canadian swing. Here's yo, have go. Go, have go. Weidman got dumped behind the play. Here's Mott. more up the right side the chip and the chase trying to get around Kulak with Lamico in front pass behind him Lamico dumped puck available Ekman Larson's on it Oliver Ekman Larson just avoids contact as Byron was ready to make him pay wrist shot knocked out no 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 get the fuck out Myers trying to hold the zone and finally cleared with some help from Ryan Paling you saw Alex Burrows. He was asked about Ryan Paling and how he's been coming along. And he's been very impressed with number 25, saying, listen, the center's a tough position. He's still a young guy. It's going to take some time, and he's taking big strides. Here's Hughes waiting towards the net. Picked up by Horvat. Trying to release the backhand. Could not. Up to Hughes. Hughes walks it in. Side of the net. Hughes behind the net. Waiting. Trying to put it in front. Anderson got his way and took it away. 
Don't let him get those freaking chances, guy. I don't want to hear it, Subway. Or Seal Boy. I don't want to hear it. Alrighty. Come on, Hams. Let's do this. Let's tie this up again. Let's get back our lead that we had. Uh, let's do this. Back, I'm gonna get a freaking pillow for my see because my I have an ass print on the freaking <laughs> on the seat. That's much better. Get the school. Feathered up for Hughes. Shot tipped. The Good job, Montombo. Spread out, able to find the puck. Vancouver one for three on the power play and looking to strike again. Yeah, Montombo has been he's been sharp. He he has been real sharp. He's been on it. He's been challenged in different ways. There you go, it's now tied off for my turn. Collected by Horvat, here's Miller. Circles around, hits the trailer, Pedersen. Nice move, Pedersen. Still with a shoot, scores! Fucking hell. Elias Pedersen, a beautiful dangle, 18 on the season. Power play goal. And the Canucks have a two-goal lead. Yeah, you give Pedersen. 
Jackson that kind of space where he can start moving and it's exactly what he does and he's got such a great shot a quick snap shot an accurate snap shot and a very deceptively hard snap shot and beats Montembeau on the power play Well, at least we don't tie Seattle tonight. So whatever Bruce Boudreaux was cooking in that intermission, it's paid off as the Canucks. They've had some pace. They've come up with some authority. And yeah, Bruce, there it is. Don't you, you know, you talk about the fans in the building. Isn't this great, though? I mean, such passionate fans. In Vancouver, they were frustrated with the way the team was playing. Bruce comes in here, and, you know, they just appreciate, you know, the way the team is playing, and certainly Bruce is the head coach. Patterson steals. He shoots, missed by quite a few feet. Charat drive, that missed as well. Cole Caulfield collects. Still has the Come on, guys. Caulfield finally knocked off his tape, and lock out. Here's Patterson. Hurry off. At the line, Sherratt, nice job as Pedersen lost his stick. Sherratt took the puck and the stick away, but Pedersen is right back on it. Pedersen, slap shot this time. Gloved and Montembeau thought about playing it, and he will hold with 9 minutes, 56 seconds remaining in this period. The Canucks, couple quick ones, the latest from Elias Pedersen. Bruh. Subway, our breads rise to every occasion. SMH. Subway's even advertising out in this. I feel right now. Like, bruh. I've said this, I've said it often and often, is the fact is, is if you can trade any player you want, if you, if you so desire, but if you're trading JT Miller, you better get a top-notch player in return. Now, that's not bad, those numbers. That's 12 games. And now Miller himself has 21 points in his 10-game point streak. If you got him in your pool, you're happy. Same if you're Bruce Boucher. Come on. Rich shot up high. Demko makes the stop on Armia. Hit by Hamannin. Armia knocks him down. Byron there to help as well. Armia picks it up. And a penalty coming Oof. up. Interference to call. As the Montreal Canadiens have a chance to fight back in this game. And make no mistake. The Habs have fought all season long, especially under Marty St. Louis. Yeah, they've shown that fight, and 
Now we talked about at the beginning of the game about taking advantage of the league's worst penalty. Let's go, we got a power play. Woohoo! Until my moon went down. Well, we called that game in Winnipeg together. 4 0 Jets. Next thing you know, it was 4 4. Nearly 5 4 if Pitlick scores on that penalty shot. And then right after that, you know, we saw. Andrew Koff scored the eventual winning goal on that same power play because that was a short-handed penalty shot Pitlick created for himself. So Horvat interference, Montreal 0 for 3 in the power play. Can they get it going? Come Caulfield on, guys. Gets it back. Cole Caulfield trying to get it to Paling to the far point. Weidman high off the glass. And knocked down by a high stick, so they'll blow it down. You talk about JT Miller, and I'm just going back to him real quick. He, he can play anywhere in your line. Looks like we're back at not being away. able to win two he in a row. He can penalty kill, play the power play, he can shoot it, make plays. And that's an incredibly valuable play. Oh, actually, play. sorry. We are There's on a two-game winning streak. So never mind. That's, if you're that's somebody false. Incredibly valuable back. Get Calgary and Edmonton. Well, the Canucks gave up a first rounder to get him, and then for the ekman larson garland trade another first rounder and the coyotes drafted dylan gunther with that pick a first round draft pick for jt miller is not value you need a player that's really good right now to come back in any trade for jt miller at this point this year well he's got 67 points on the season we talked about it his career high 72. here's suzuki He'll drop it off. Paling leaves. Weidman wanted Paling. Hammond, a good job, got in the way. Collected by Highmore and sent down the ice. Just over a minute remaining in the minor penalty. Full change here for Montreal. Now, Montreal had that early power play, and they got nothing going on, and it seems that it's been the script for them all the way through on any on their power plays throughout this game. Here's Pentlick for Gallagher. Brendan Gallagher. Leaves up top, Sherrod. Then Sherrod sends it across, gets it back. Wanted that one timer. Pedersen got in his way. Pitlick in tight shot. Stop Gallagher. Looking oh. For a good snipe by Lekkinen looking for a third of the contest. Now Lekkinen's had some good looks, but Demko again just spotting up, reading the play, and then just getting right out and closing down the net. Superb goal tenure by Thatcher Demko. 31 seconds remaining. Gallagher on the puck. Back up top. Sherrod for Hoffman. Mike Hoffman. Off the boards for Sherrod. He'll send it across. Pitlick. Down low. Gallagher to the forehand. Tries to tuck it home. No whistle yet. And you know Gallagher won't quit till he hears one. And Demko finds it. And in the battle of 35s, the goaltenders, right now it's Demko leading the charge he's had to make some really good saves in this game especially when it was 2-2 you know came up large a number of times and real good play here by Gallagher you know you know where he's taking the puck he's taking that puck into the crease area to the net and then he's looking for every opportunity to find a loose puck Habs have a power play in three straight coming oh yo what is up Ryan welcome to the stream. We are watching the Habs versus Canucks. Apparently, the Habs are losing. Um, uh, yeah, not good times. Hopefully, they get brought up because the stream will get way more hyped if it does. So, hope you all enjoy your time. And uh, yeah, if you're interested in seeing future streams, here's uh, the. The, the score link. So one more time, Miller, if it loads, there we go. Yeah. But yeah. Shed on the puck. We're back from like uh. Hello, Mel Gibson. Welcome to the stream as well. We are watching the Habs versus the, the Montreal Canadiens versus the Vancouver Canucks. And if you don't know what those teams are, they're NHL teams, which are which is NHL stands for the National Hockey League. But yeah, we're watching that, and 
Oh, bonjour. Also, hello, I am Gamer Guy. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Lakers. Oh boy. What is going on here? Welcome to the stream, though. Lakers, this is the wrong sport for that. Thank you. I've cheered for the uh, 10 out of 10 at this sport, literally. Wow. Imagine cheering for like the newest teams. Like, oh my god. Hey, I am a I can piss you off even more, Mel, G Mel Gibson. On top of a half fan, I am. I am uh, also a Vegas Golden Knights fan. So. Yeah. So, screw the Krakens. Hey! Also, on top of that, um, uh, the Vancouver Canucks are playing here. The, Can the Canucks are playing here. This is like sort of your rivalry here, so. I feel like you'd want to play, you'd want to cheer for the Montreal Canadiens here. Well, that's all I'm saying. Habs are the way. But yeah, so. Smell Gibson, you're a Krakens fan. Hello, I am Gamer Guy. What is your team? That is true, yes, I am very poor. <laughs> Literally, that is just the case. School, tuition, that's what happens. I mean, like, more hockey. Are, are you a hockey fan? Or just Cowboys, that's, um, uh, honestly, what is... I'm sorry, but Cowboys, that's, um, uh... Oh boy, this is embarrassing. Um, uh, I'm sorry, uh, Cowboys. Bruh. Shut the freak up, right? <laughs> what is going on in the chat right now? Oh yeah, if, once you guys get some noise, I got these noise, uh, not noise, I mean fucking coins, sorry, tells you coins. You can play these sounds here. Like, voila, bada bing. Minecraft, I like your cut, G. Boy, I am too, I'm too poor for the cat, too. <laughs> Mr. Ch Mrs. Transman, okay. Is Miss Transman also a Power Ranger? Hey, bro. <laughs> what is going on with the chat right now? I am honestly in full on confusion right now. The Prius? Damn. Boo Canucks. What is going on? <laughs> Y'all just join in three. Well, I am not playing this game personally, but I am more so watching a game. And since I am the Habs fan, I am not winning this game. The Canucks are winning, so if you're cracking. Oh, you want some sim nips? Okay. Wait, no, 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 no. I. Yeah! You almost got me there. But if you want to see some nips, you gotta do. You gotta pay, um, uh. You gotta pay some bits for that. That's some premium content there, OnlyFans. Hey! 
Hey! Hey! What the fuck? Why set? What the fuck? Seven fucking ads? What the fuck? Okay, I'm gonna have to fucking edit this. I'm gonna have to fix this shit. Thanks you for letting me know, Mel Gibson. Like, what the fuck happened? Twitch, calm the fuck down. Just calm the fuck down, Twitch. Twitch needs to calm the fuck down. Like, bruh. Well, we're one score with it, so I may actually win the game. If you want to ask if I'm winning, you can also just press this. Like, are you winning, son? You can also do this here. But yeah. You want some nips? You'll have to donate some bits. Hey, that rhymes. <laughs> so, no free content here. Yeah, you. Uh, some ad blocker stuff. Yeah, ad blockers work. Blondes are girls. Well, you talked about the fight in the Montreal Canadiens and never given up. That I keep my relationships private because I don't want to cause some drama. So. Already. Fuck, I need to lower these freaking ad counts here. Like, I'm not that desperate for the money. And you know, a waiver pickup. And you know it's a clean slate for all these players now, right? It's a clean slate. Let me fix that for you guys here. Voila, here you go. Yeah, freaking ads are like twi Twitch needs to calm down. Like, bruh. He's staying on the ice and that is a very good sign. So for Jeff Gordon, Kent Hughes, obviously the auditions. Oh, the, the Batman movie? Fuck, that... You think ads are a waste of your life. That movie... Ugh. It's the same shit over and over again. Different actors. That's literally all it fucking is. Marvel movies are honestly... Low. I'm more of a Marvel fan, so... Take that as you will. But, I mean, I do like... I mean, Spongebob is a sponge, so, I mean, show feet, see that's even more, if you want that, that's, that's, you gotta pay some bits for that, my, my guy. Those are all, those are all bits donations. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll give you, I'll give you a sneak peek. There you go. I mean, if you donate them, you can see. Here. Voila. If you want without the sock, that's some bits right there. But yeah, y'all are. If y'all are interested in some future videos, uh, click that follow button and also like ch check the Discord out button. Yeah, this, this is how poor I am, boys. I bought the PS5. Hey, thank you, Mel Gibson22, for that follow. Let's go. Fuck yeah, bud. Thank you, thank you. Hey, Nigo Rigo. Thank you for the follow. Let's go. Yeah, I got so lucky buying that PS5, though. Holy fuck. <laughs> Hey, hold up. Hold up there. I got, I got, I gotta do what you gotta do, man. You gotta do what you gotta do. But yeah, thank you for those follows. Much appreciate. <laughs> 
Dean, if you just take a look at the numbers this season, obviously, 6, 11, and 4. Donate today. Um, uh, you got you got to go find me the <laughs> flirt is um uh, is is like you know you know when you're you have diarrhea. That's the noise it makes when you have a fart. And there's all liquid shit that comes out. That's what happens. Like it's not a great time once you feel a flirt. Yeah, like. How much I would charge to rub mayo on my feet? Well, first, I would need to buy mayo because I don't even have that. But, fuck, Vancouver scored. Uh, honestly, just pay for the mayo. Just pay for the mayo, I'd say probably like, today's price is with inflation, it's probably be like 5 to 10 bucks, so whatever that is in bits, and I'll do it. Sorry, I don't release where I live, but I'll just say, you can probably tell by the fact I love hockey where I live, in terms of country. Oh, one time the flirt did does sometimes run d towards your leg. God damn, Mel Gibson. We mentioned Montreal has Seattle at home on Saturday. Full house expected at the Bell Center. For fuck's sake, no, I'm. I'm sorry. I don't like dox myself. I'll probably get lots of mayo if I if that happens. If you pay me the bits, I'll go get mayo and next stream we'll do it. Like basically ten. Oh my fucking god, bro. I think that's too uh, us, that part. I'm sorry, my dude. God damn, the, the freaking Canucks won. God damn, that's dumb. Boring. Oh yeah, we're first as the Krakens next. See, we can do the mayo thing then. I like to buy your flirts and I'll make a strong offer. I know. There's a reason why we're freaking last place. Hey, I'm just saying, the more loses losses we get, the better the better, I guess, of a pick we'll be able to get at the end. Chain right. If the price is right, right for him, it'll be awesome. And it's paid for Shane. Alright, let me review the game here. So, for this game... For fuck's sake. <laughs> so... Few stats for the end of the period of the, the cold game. 25 shots on goal for Montreal. 33 for Canucks. Face-off percentage in the end ended up being 59% for the Canucks, 41% for Canadians. Nobody scored on power play. They both each had four power penalties and like the hits, blocks, and all that stuff is broken. So, yeah, fuck. Hey, I got it like basically... All I'm saying is, um, uh, once, once I reach that in bits, I'll be able to go and watch them. I, if you agree to the terms, I'm sorry. My, my, yeah, but here's the thing, in my industry I'm going into, if I get cancelled, it's a big thing.
So that's their only reason. How many girls have asked you to fire on them? Uh... Uh... Only one. <laughs> and she was quite, quite the girl. Well, yeah, I'll do a little cute, a little, um, uh... So, yeah. For the terms and conditions, um, uh... If y'all want a story time, uh... It costs, uh, much... 300 coins for the story time, so if you want it. Hey! All I'm saying... Have you ever seen boobs in real life? Yes. I've I've had the times. I've had the sexy times. <laughs> but if you wanna uh, if you wanna know more, you'll have to tune in next time tomorrow at 8 p.m. We will discuss more on the topic. Until then, if change plans change, here's the Discord. This is your God's Discord? That's me. I'm your God. Um. Uh, yeah. Honestly, pay me the bets, and I'll do you that mayo. Both plots of lands. Sorry, I'm, sorry, I'm not British. Can't give you that land. <laughs> You'll have to ask the British for that. We do have a mod who's British, but no, I can only say that because I have a British friend. <laughs> God damn. What's better, Putin or Putin? Uh, Putin is better. Oh, so that one, let me search up. What's the exchange rate of Goblin? Yeah, I also have that TikTok. Fun times. Damn. So many Bitcoins. my god, I came close to getting some Bitcoins when they were relevant. Uh, well, not relevant, I mean. I didn't raid you guys to someone, but... There doesn't seem to be anyone online. Actually, no, fuck it. I'll raid you guys to the best channel ever. At least what I believe to be the best room ever. Exactly this right here. Alrighty, see you guys. Hope you have a good time. Y'all. See y'all later. And, uh, yeah. And as always. Stay safe. Wear a helmet.